Good morning, everybody. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that tuned in to my Instagram live. It was a really difficult workout and Roland is amazing. I hope you enjoyed it. And I think we're gonna do another one next week, so I will keep you all informed. Have a good day, darlings. I'm gonna cook a really yummy recipe for supper tonight. Um, a really quick and easy one. So stay tuned. Mwah. Hello, darlings. Well, tomorrow is gonna be my third way in and I am a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. I've been in Ireland filming for the last few days. It's very hard to sort of keep it up food and exercise wise while you're filming. So I hope it won't be too bad. But in light of my work, my workout, my way in, uh, I wanna cook something really fresh, really healthy and carb free, but still will fill you up. Uh, so that hopefully if I have no carbs tonight, then I'll weigh less tomorrow. So we're gonna start with our normal basic ingredients, white onion, ginger, garlic, and chili. Yum, 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 yum. So, let's go. Ginger's in, all the ingredients are in, and now we add our gluten-free, for me, soy sauce. You want to add about two tablespoons. Make it really yummy. Get all those lovely flavours. Oh, yum. Let that cook for about four minutes. You want the soy sauce to caramelise. You want all the flavours to infuse and just make it really yummy and delicious. I'm going to add some stock. Now, I have got some gluten-free vegan bouillon powder. Um, bouillon and it's an instant stock and obviously it's vegan it's organic and I'm gonna put one big heap teaspoon and then fill up with about um, a litre of water turn the heat right up and you want to bring that to the boil Once this has come to just, not totally boiling, but just a few bubbles, we're gonna put it in our blender and we're gonna blend it up. So. Be careful, because the mixture's gonna be hot. Give it a whiz. <clears throat> so the first half, oh. Make sure it's nice and smooth and then transfer it back to the pan. And then we pour the other half in. Like so. Whiz this up. Give it a good blitz. your 
yummy Thai fish soupy stewy thing is ready. And now we start adding the other ingredients. So turn the heat back up, get it going. I was gonna cook chicken tonight, but the chicken breast that I had looked a little bit ropey and I just don't think you should even take chances with chicken. So that's why I'm now doing a fish stew instead of a chicken dish uh, because I can't be bothered to run out. Um, so I have frozen fish, five flaky fish fillets. So I'm just gonna take the frozen fish, take one fillet, so it's just for me, and then pop it straight in. Job done. Yummy veg, so sweet corn. Yummy peas. I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes. I'm gonna chop them into quarters. Just little bite-sized pieces. There you go. Then some yummy broccoli. I'm gonna get it down to like this type of size though. So cutting like the long stalks off and taking out any leaves. And finally, some yummy baby corn. And I'm gonna just cut that in half. Give it a stir, gently, obviously, because the fish is in there. Now I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna leave that on a medium heat for about six minutes and then I'm gonna come back and check on it. Once that's done, we're gonna season. You will not need any salt or you shouldn't need any salt um, because the soy sauce has lots in and I think the vegan um, stock has salt in as well. So we're just gonna go in with Lots of yummy black pepper. And that's it. It's time to plate up and eat my favorite time of day. <laughs>